Hey guys, it's Lisa. So I'm here at Disneyland today and I am so excited to be here just because I feel like I have not been here in so long, even though I'm pretty sure it's only been like two weeks or something. But anyway, I am really excited. I want to get some food. Oh my gosh, actually, the number one thing I wanna do is get a very special pretzel. That is like number one priority for me today. And then other than that, I mean, maybe see some entertainment or go on a ride. I just want to enjoy the holidays here at Disneyland. So come along with me, let's hang out, and let's go get that pretzel. It is one of the best kinds of days here at Disneyland. It is a blustery day. Actually, okay, I take it back. A blustery day just makes it better, but any day at Disneyland is like the best day ever. But I just have to note it any time. The bluster is here. And by the way, happy Thanksgiving to anybody that celebrated. I hope you guys had an amazing time, enjoyed the day, enjoyed whatever it is that you wanted to enjoy because I was about to be like family, food, fr I don't know. Whatever it is that you wanted to enjoy on Thanksgiving, I hope you hope you did that. <laughs> and then I, I took some time away. Oh, I can hear the monorail. <laughs> But yes, okay, I took some time away, but I also want to mention, I was previously, I have been ear girl, I was hat girl, and now I am car girl, okay? I, who would have thought that? And when I say I'm car girl, I don't, I'm not really car girl at all, but I had some car issues, and so I learned how to do some things, and now I feel like I'm car girl. Maybe, maybe not. I have some funny pictures of it though, so maybe I'll show you, or maybe I'm gonna be too embarrassed to show you, but either way, I just wanted to mention that. So yes, happy Thanksgiving, I hope you guys had fun, but let's go inside, let's go get a pretzel, a very fantastic looking pretzel. Please let it live up to the hype in my head, please. Wait, 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 wait. Before, we, before we go inside, I just have to say, the Esplanade Loop, what is going on? There's some really slow moments, some sleepy moments, some tired moments, and then I'm pretty sure that this is a Jessica Simpson song. She's not singing right now. I, if fate were, you know, being kind to me, she would start singing right now. Okay, it doesn't really sound like her right there, but trust me, something is, something is amiss. Something is odd. I don't know how I feel about this, but anyway, yes. Let's go inside. <laughs> The new Holiday Esplanade Loop wishes it could sound like Main Street at the holiday time. It's just incredible. And look at this beautiful tree. It feels like I've been away for so long, but it hasn't been long at all. And also look, we have a tiny, tiny view of the Matterhorn. That was uh, not a good job of me zooming in, but just imagine it was smoother. <laughs> I know I said that I was gonna get food, and food is always the priority, okay? But I met up with a friend, and he saw that they were loading the omnibus, and he was like, wait, let's try to get the very top and in the front, which is very much so the best spot to be. And I'm really sad to tell you that we're not, okay? We we got it, we got close to the front, but we're not quite there. But we still will get a nice view, so I will show you. And then while we're doing that, I will figure out what I'm gonna eat. Other than the pretzel, we're gonna get that. But I also want like food, food. Also, sending off our tour today on your right hand side, we have Sleeping Beauty's Castle. <gasps> on your right hand side, we have Frontierland and Adventureland, which will lead you to the west side of the park where you can also find New Orleans Square, Border Country, and Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. <laughs> Anytime I hear them honk the horn, it just makes me giggle. <laughs> I don't know, it sounds so silly, right? We have a couple times here on Main Street that it will be snowing this evening. Again, if you want to see the snow today, it's going to be at 7.30, 8.30, and after the sh fireworks show at 9.30 p.m. <gasps> Thank you. Ah, the gentle sounds of the Pride Lands. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, okay, yes, this is Celebration of the Lion King, which, by the way, I'm pretty sure that this show is gonna be going away at the end of middle of, beginning, beginning of January? I'll have to double check, but yay. Okay, maybe we'll see that, but what we are really here for 
is Troubadour Tavern because they have a baked potato. Okay, the baked potatoes here are amazing, amazing. And I love baked potatoes. I love them. But this one is a holiday baked potato. So of course I need to get it. It was like one of the things when I saw the food guide, I was like, I must, must get that. So yay, very soon it shall be ours. I have my potato and I am so excited. So this is the celebration potato from Troubadour Tavern and it's pulled smoked turkey, whipped cream cheese, stuffing, cranberry sauce, gravy, and fried onions, all on a delightful baked potato. And I, okay, I won't lie. When I first saw it, I was like, I'm not impressed. I am not impressed because it looked really brown, really beige, all one color. I had to like, kind of like zhuzh up the cranberry sauce. And by the way, I love cranberry sauce. So I'm a little disappointed there was not more especially because I saw somebody walking by and they had a lot and I was kind of jealous. They had a lot of cranberry sauce and I did not. So let me get a good bite. I've kind of mushed it around a lot. Actually, let me get, I have to ration the cranberry sauce, you know what I mean? But for the first bite, let's get some. Let's try it. That is actually immensely delightful, really delightful. It's all the familiar flavors, you know what I mean? Turkey, lots of gravy. At first I thought there was too much gravy. Now that I'm eating it, I'm like, no, no, no. It's the appropriate amount of gravy. And then the crispy onions on top and the turkey is actually really nice it does have like a good smoky flavor to it and the cranberry sauce the only thing i'm sad about is like why not more a little bit more cranberry sauce would have been really really nice and then also okay there's whipped cream cheese in there i was really looking for it because i love cream cheese love it but it's all at the bottom and there's a lot of it but i couldn't really taste it so i'll have to do a separate bite let me it's on a fork i mean on a knife Hmm, that was really awkward. Okay, that's actually really, really good. It has like the tartness of sour cream. I, I love this thing. I just, yeah, more, more stuffing, more cranberry sauce, more crispy onions, like more of everything. And I would have been set, but all around really, really good. And I think you should get it. Dang, okay, I turned the camera on a little bit too late. They just finished the big first song of Tale of the Lion King and I'm very sorry to say this, but um, we'll have to watch it another time because we are on the go. We are on the move. It's a potato on the move. And really, I, I mainly ate all the toppings and now I'm kind of done with it, but I wasn't ready to say goodbye yet. So carrying it to the next treat. I'm excited. I already know what I want to get next. And it's not the pretzel. Wait a minute, the treat that I got is so much better than I thought it was gonna be. So first off, this is a gingerbread churro from the churro cart over by It's a Small World. And I was expecting this to be a plain churro because the, well, let me show you. The main reason why we're here is because of this. This right here, this is butterscotch dipping sauce. It looks totally different than what I was thinking it was gonna be. And I thought it came with a plain churro, but no, it's a gingerbread churro. Look at it. It is so hard for me to hold this right now with my camera and I'm struggling as you can tell. But anyway, I am so excited to try this. I freaking love butterscotch. So I have a feeling I'm gonna like this. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about this. This smells amazing. Like it smells like toasty gingerbread and I'm just, I have high hopes, okay? Oh, and then also wait, I have something else I really, really wanna show you, but um, this first because I, it's hot and toasty. I wanna eat it while it's hot and toasty. So butterscotch dipping sauce. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. I love this. It is super ooey, super gooey, just the way we would imagine a dipping sauce to be. Anyway, let's taste it. <laughs> Oh, this is delightful. This is delightful, but hyper, hyper sweet. But I, as a major sweet tooth person, don't mind it. But just so you know, this is very, very sweet, the dipping sauce. The actual churro itself is really nice. Oh! I am so sad about that. I am... And it also fell on my backpack. Mm. Mm. It fell on top of my open backpack. This is devastating. It's okay. There's more treats that we can get, but I'll, I'll tell you what I what I thought of this. This was really, really sweet and it had a very like overtly, like super butterscotchy. Sometimes butterscotch can kind of taste like caramel, but this is like butterscotch. It tastes like butter. It has like a, a dairy milky kind of like feeling to it. It's like nice and creamy and oh my God, this is a nice like deep, rich butterscotch flavor. And I, I am, I am so sad. I should show you my backpack right now. It looks so, I dropped the churro, how devastating. <laughs> 
Is this not the saddest sight you have ever seen? Our fallen brethren, a fallen soldier, I am so sad about this. Also, I, I mean, I can just like dust it off. Some of the sugar got inside, but as you can see, I do have my adorable little mini keychain right there. Look at her, isn't she so sweet? And then I also was at Sephora earlier today, the Sephora in downtown Disney, and I got a couple things. Um, I'm, I, I, I'm so sad. <laughs> I do have one thing that will make everything better right now. Like everything is gonna be turned around. And by the way, I still have not cleaned up the churro. It's right beneath me, like on my backpack still. That's like, you know, a future problem in like one minute. But I just wanted to show you the thing that is gonna make everything better. And by the way, I also think the monorail is gonna come by any second. So if it does, I'm flipping the camera around. But look what this is. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is the newest sipper to arrive at Disneyland and it is adorable. This is the Wish Star Sipper from the new movie, Wish, and I cannot wait to watch the movie. I'm so excited. It looks so magical, so just wonderful. And plus, come on, the star, Disney knew what they were doing. This is gonna be the star of the show. He's the cutest thing in the world. And let me show you the little top right here. Oh, the monorail's coming by. We gotta flip it around. At least I warned you. But okay, the other thing too, I'm trying to block you from the sun. See, it kind of peeks out when I go like that. So I'm perfectly blocking you right now. But yes, the Star Wish Sipper, you can see the little straw is right back here. So cute. And then the really pretty purple strap is adorable. Oh my gosh. Okay, this isn't mine. My friend did get him. And I was like, you must wear him. That's the best part about having a sipper or a popcorn bucket is that for the rest of the day, you get to wear it. So let me demonstrate. Is it gonna be, I, the strap is kind of short. Let's see. Oh no, it, it'll work. Here we go. Here, here we go. Adorable, oh my God, he's poking me. Okay, adorable. I have an even more exciting update to give you, which is that it glows, it lights up and it has, the little button is by his little butt. And I think this is the on mode. There's a couple modes, let's see. Okay, that's the off mode. There's flicker, do you see? It kind of like flickers and glows, and then where's the little button, here we go. And then there's also glow, so kind of like, you know, it glows on and off. Um, Adorable, he's an adorable little friend, and my friend doesn't want to carry him around all day. He wants to go put him in a locker, and I'm like, no, I'll carry him, as long as he doesn't poke me. So cute. <laughs> and say that I like your barriers. Oh yes, I, they are, they're bear ears. I'm trying to, to change all of the ears at Disneyland to, from mouse ears to bear ears. Okay, I'm I, on a mission. I would be okay with that. They don't need to be mouse ears, they can just be bear ears. All right, so you'll help me then. Yes. All right, wonderful. I'll be, so I'll, I'll start the petition. <laughs> don't you worry. <laughs> Ooh, can you hear that duck making his duck sounds? <laughs> Uh, AKA quacking. Okay, I was gonna say that it's that time of day where it's very peaceful and very wonderful. Like, look at this beautiful golden light and all these ducks. But then I think there's like duck drama or something. Like they're all fighting and quacking at each other. See, they're like trying to nip at each other or something. I don't, oh, oh, oh. Is, it, there's, I wanna know the real story. What's going on? Who is the instigator? What's happening? I don't know, but duck drama is happening. I had to move away from the duck pond because it was no longer the peaceful duck pond that we all know and love. There was too much duck drama. Like they were squabbling. I don't know. We don't know how serious the drama was. So yes, now we, you, me, and our little wishing star, we are gonna go do something that I haven't done since it opened, which is the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse. And I can hear it. Like, I can hear the polka. Oh my gosh, and it's Jack Skellington and he's in a costume. Okay, where did I leave off? I don't, I think it was that I could hear the Swiss Family Robinson polka song, which is exciting. I doubt you can hear it, but it's very exciting. And also the color of the water is really, really pretty. It's like a nice milky color, kind of disturbing and alarming, but also beautiful. So yes, let's go inside. Let's do this with our little star friend. We haven't even gotten two steps in and I just want to say the water is so beautiful. 
There's something about the water element here that is really, really gorgeous. And then also, look at this. We get the backside of pirates. How exciting. There was a joke there. I just don't know what the joke was, okay? I'm not like that kind of a person. I can't think of the jokes on the fly. But anyway, yes, we get the back of that. And I can hear the polka music. It's getting louder. I don't know if you can hear it. Oh my gosh, I only took two more steps inside of the treehouse and I am so excited. Can you hear the song? It's the original polka song, but it's like more energetic. It's more fun. It has more energy, more passion. I am so excited. I and you can see the waterfall. Come on, it's amazing. <laughs> we found where the magical polka music is coming from look and then look at the wait it's not moving right now it was moving the little violin when he starts to play <gasps> he is so precious everything about this little area is so so precious look at this gorgeous little lamp and i the music i'm telling you the music is the coolest part Unfortunately, we are behind this little fence. Let us in, let us in. But still, the music, it is amazing. <laughs> this is pretty adorable. But look, there's a monkey. And you can look at the sign right there. It has a schedule of when he's supposed to feed all of his different animals. Okay, I don't think it's really focusing all that great. But, um, amazing. Looks, we have some birds. Is one gonna poke out? Oh, look, he's trying to poke out right there. <laughs> Back where we started, I see. Back where this beautiful, milky, blue-colored waterfall is. Also, Jane is right over there. Is she? There she is. <laughs> Don't feed Jane. Jane is being fed on a schedule, okay? But anyway, I think this was amazing. This was so much fun. We should come back at night, though, when there's gonna be so many lights. It's gonna be so pretty, like all of these. How adorable is this? This is so adorable. Actually, I don't know the answer to that question. Like, is it that adorable? I think it is. But this is the holiday popcorn. Actually, I think it's called the Christmas time popcorn. And it's actually only available at the Haunted Mansion popcorn cart. So it's the popcorn cart that's in between Haunted Mansion and Tiana's Palace. And it's adorable. It's M&Ms, holiday M&Ms, and then mini marshmallows. And I haven't even tasted it yet. Oh, and then the other thing, they do layer it. So there's more candy and like little, you know, nice accoutrements further in. So it's not just the top, because that would be severely disappointing. But let's, I guess, taste it. I haven't even tasted it yet. That is really fun. Okay, it's really fun. It is pretty basic. And I don't know if I've ever eaten marshmallow. In fact, I know I haven't. Marshmallows with popcorn? No, never. And do they go together? I don't know if they go together actually, but M&Ms, absolutely. Those go with popcorn very, very well. And I just love it. I think it's so festive. And then also look at my background. Isn't it beautiful? And then I've been seeing a lot of ducks and these ducks aren't fighting ducks. Look who it is making a guest appearance. It is the star. So cute, so adorable, so, so jovial, really. But I also just wanted to give you the, oh no, it's like, you can't really see. Okay, star light, light the way. I just wanted to confirm that there are in fact way more M&Ms further in. Look at that joyous amount. Oh no, I just spilled a lot in my lap. It's fine, it's fine. What I'm gonna show you next is one of the most exciting things to ever come back, ever. These are peppermint beignets and they're the Mickey shaped ones, which means that they're gonna be, they're just gonna taste better, but the peppermint flavor in particular is so, so good. They don't have it every single year, they have it this year. And these are incredible and they have not been shooken, shaken up yet. So let's do that. Let's really hope there's no hole in this bag. <laughs> sometimes I, sometimes I will do this with such intensity that I will like rip a hole in the bag. <laughs> I just wanna make sure that they're evenly distributed, you know? Sorry, this is probably the most annoying sound. I'll do it a little bit farther away from the camera. I am so excited. Okay, let's see. Can you see? I can't see. <gasps> they look perfect. They look very flat, which is what a Mickey-shaped beignet is kind of like. They're not always the fluffiest. Look at this, and it has a tinge of pink to it. 
Oh my gosh, they're so warm too. Okay, let's see, let's pull it apart. Mickey, you're fluffy all the way through. Okay, let's try it again. Let's pull off the other ear. I sound mean, I'm like, let's pull it. Oh my God. I... These are the best things ever. I love peppermint flavored things. These are so, so good. And they're really soft and nice and fluffy in the middle, shockingly, I don't know what's going on. And the peppermint flavor is exquisite. It's like the flavor of like just crushed up candy cane and a lot of sugar, a lot of powdered sugar. And then you can get a chocolate dipping sauce to go with it, but I would not recommend that. Don't be fooled by that because it's actually just plain old Hershey syrup. And it's not that great, you know? It's really overwhelming of a flavor, especially when you, you know, you just want to savor the, I am so sad that I kind of, his ears are missing, it's very sad. But anyway, this is amazing and you must get it. And if you come here to the Minchula Bar to get these, I'm just like holding this up, it looks really sad. Get it with a coffee. This is perfect, I am so excited. I came inside of Elias & Co and I just have to show you the cuteness I just found. Look at him. I came running from across the room when I saw him. I was like, look at him. He looks so floofy, so silly, so round. And he is particularly soft and also a little bit floppy. Look at that. But yes, very, very soft. And I mean, he's huge. Like he's gigantic. There's also this star plush, but this star plush is Mm, not very soft whatsoever and I feel like hmm okay there's a little pocket right here I feel like maybe he like says things oh yeah I can feel like a voice box on the inside and then also look he is shimmery and so cute and he's kind of winking at us and that's adorable but he is just not the same not the same as that star we look, look how tubby he looks he looks tubby <laughs> okay let's see how much is this one this one is $39.99, and I do love how shimmery he is. Oh no, am I becoming the star's number one fan? I might be. Look at how cute, oh, it's actually a mug. Okay, I thought it was maybe just like a little jar, but this is so cute. And he has this little topper, and he is actually really pearly. I don't know if you can see the glaze is pearly. He's also winking. Have you noticed that his face is in the shape of an adorable little heart? Okay, love him. Let's see. He is $24.99, and then not just the mug. Look at this, we also have ears. These are fun, and I do not think that these light up because there's no like battery anywhere. So I don't think that these light up, but it looks like it should. Like, uh, look at how tubby he looks right there, how joyous he looks. These are really cool, very sparkly, and then I like the navy blue little chiffon bow right there but very fun and yes i am star's number one fan right now especially because look at the tubbiness the tubby nature of him like the pillsbury doughboy <laughs> Okay, nothing gets me more excited than the holiday season at Disneyland, but specifically at DCA, because listen to this old-timey music. It's just, it's adorable, and also the Christmas tree is adorable and perfect, but then also, okay, let's see if I can get it in the shot. Where is it? Okay, the moon, right? I love a good moon, okay? The moon is amazing, but then this right here, is Jupiter. Wow. I have my friend confirmed with me because I, whenever I see things like that, I'm like, what is that? I'm so intrigued. But yes, the moon, the Christmas tree, Jupiter. Who could ask for a better view? Wait, let me try and frame it. There we go. Now you can see it all at the same time. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, but also, not just the last song we heard was the best song ever, but listen to this one. Okay, I wish that they were singing because that kind of makes it or breaks it, but I, whenever I hear this song, it makes me think of Home Alone 2 and it makes me think of Tim Curry when he smiles like the Grinch. I love that movie and I love the first Home Alone 2, but anyway, it just makes me think about Tim Curry smiling like the Grinch. Okay, let's keep going. Let's get, ooh, maybe it's time for a hot buttered rum. I don't know, we're in DCA, we may as well. Oh, can you see it? Can you feel it? It's the bluster. Oh, you can see the bluster right there. And you can also kind of, I know that you can't hear it, but you can hear the gentle swishiness of the palm trees. 
It's very gentle. Ooh, there it is. Also, I'm wearing a skirt. I'm freezing. But we still need to get that pretzel. It's like the most important thing today. That It was like the priority for today. <laughs> Let me show you a really beautiful sight, but we do not have time to stop and pause and look at it for too long. Here it is. We are moving things along because the bluster has come to haunt me and it is freezing. It is freezing and I, I, you know, I wore a skirt. Why did I do this? I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm a grandma on the inside and I never would have imagined that I would have stayed here as late as I am. But anyway, we've come all the way across the giant, huge esplanade just so I can get this amazing cream cheese pretzel. It's going to be good. I have a feeling. I would... I would bet at least $100 hairs that it's going to be amazing. I have my pretzel and I do have to eat it fast because we keep getting gusts, blusts of the bluster and it's chilly, but I am so excited for this. This pretzel looks amazing and it was the priority. Oh, there's one of the blusts. <laughs> but anyway, yes, okay, that was a, that was actually not a bad one at all. Oh, but the aftershock of it, it was a little bit, ooh, a little bit chilly. Anyway, okay, this cinnamon roll pretzel is so delightful. I just read the description and it says that they rolled it in cinnamon roll sugar. And I was like, wait, isn't that just cinnamon sugar? Yes, but anyway, I'm so excited for that. And then there's icing on top of it and it's a cream cheese pretzel, my favorite thing. And because it's a cinnamon roll, you know, pretzel, I, I always say that the pretzels, the, like cream cheese, I'm so cold and also so sleepy now because like I said, my inner grandma goes to sleep at like 10 and it's after that, okay? But anyway, yes, I always say the pretzels here are like cinnamon rolls where the inside is like the gooeyest best part with all the cream cheese. So we have to eat that part first in honor of this oh my gosh it looks so good okay let's try it <laughs> oh my goodness that lived up to expectations and then some that is amazing and dare i say it dethrones the toffee pretzel as being my favorite pretzel the toffee pretzel is in tomorrowland right now and it is delightful it's rolled in toffee flavored sugar but there's no icing no extra accoutrements other than the pureness of the pretzel and the sugar and this is so good oh my gosh the sugar is like it has that almost like gooeyness to it that the inside of a cinnamon roll does and then the icing on top makes it gooier and stickier and more delightful and so good it definitely needs a fork and a knife like you don't want that all over your hands but oh my gosh i this is my favorite thing that i have eaten this holiday season point blank it is the best thing at disneyland in general and if anybody dare say that it is not then well you're you're allowed your opinion but anyway i just it's amazing i am so excited and you should absolutely get it but if you're gonna get this one then you know you may as well go over to tomorrowland and get the wonderful toffee pretzel too and compare and contrast see which one you like more or less also this one is a little bit over the top so if you don't like over the top things if you don't like very very sweet things then you probably won't like it but still amazing i i am so pleased so very pleased good night and happy holidays they just had a little bit of snow isn't that exciting they do they don't always do it at the exact times they kind of let it happen on main street when they feel like it but anyway i just wanted to go ahead and end the video here while i was still somewhat warm from sitting down you know and i do have my backpack on like a kid who's like waiting for the bell to ring and is like i'm ready please let me out of school <laughs> but yes i cannot believe i stayed here so late because I'm always a grandma, so I don't know, something is maybe amiss, or maybe I'm becoming a new person, a car person, a hat person, an ear person, a late night at Disneyland person. No, that'll never be me. Maybe, mm, never say never. But anyway, today was an amazing day. I can't believe we, it was basically me eating around the park. I had a celebration potato. I had peppermint beignets. Okay, those were so, so good. And then I got a hot buttered rum. Yeah, I really did just like eat my way through the park, but it was an amazing little day. And then, ooh, I am now Star's biggest fan from the movie Wish. I just, it is very cute. It has a little heart-shaped face and it's adorable. But yes, a very fun day. And I cannot believe that we got to end the night on the highlight of the entire day, which was the cream cheese pretzel 
with the cinnabon, cinnabon bun, cinna, cinnamon bun filling and icing. It was really, 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 really good. Like really good, 10, 11 out of 10, 12 out of 10, 20 out of 10, maybe very good. But anyway, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys had fun coming along with me and yes, I will see you in the next one. <laughs> okay, see ya.